Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here. In today's video, I've got a really interesting situation to share with you. If you've got an M1 Mac running Mac OS Big Sur and you've installed a software update like 11.6.1, your recovery OS has been updated to Monterey. And this is something that we've never seen before because the recovery OS should be on the same version as the installed operating system. I'm gonna go over the investigation that I went through to figure this out. Plus, I'm also gonna show you how that you can still install Mac OS Big Sur, even though your recovery system has been upgraded to Mac OS Monterey. So I'm going to go over that and more next. So let's quickly go over how the recovery system works on the M1 Mac. When you boot up by holding down power, it will show you the boot picker and then you'll click on the option key and it'll bring you to Mac OS recovery. That recovery OS should be on the same version as the installed version of Mac OS in the operating system. So for example, if your M1 Mac is running Mac OS Big Sur 11.6, then recovery OS will be on 11.6. So when you boot into it, you can check the version and it'll say 11.6. What's changed here is if you installed the 11.6.1 update, then you go into recovery and you say, wait a minute, it doesn't say reinstall macOS Big Sur, it says reinstall macOS Monterey. So this is a very interesting situation and it's the first time we've ever seen anything like this before. So let's talk about how we first came up, how this started. A fellow Mac admin put a post in the Mac admins chat that says that if you're on an Intel Mac, you have different versions of macOS recovery that you can boot to over internet recovery. For example, the shipping version or the latest available version with different keyboard commands. And then he says, well, wait a minute, what's the equivalent on Apple Silicon M1 Max? If I'm not ready to move to Monterey, but recovery is only offering Monterey, what can I do? And the first thing I thought, well, wait a minute, that's not even possible. But if you think about it, it actually is possible. And I show here how that's possible. If you update your M1 Mac to Monterey, it changes recovery OS to Monterey. Now, if you downgrade Mac OS Monterey on that M1 Mac to Big Sur by booting off of a USB Big Sur installer, you can erase the drive and reinstall Mac OS Big Sur, but recovery will still be on Mac OS Monterey because the installer does not upgrade M1's recovery system. The only way to do that is to boot it into DFU mode and use Apple Configurator 2 to restore with an IPSW, then the recovery OS is Mac OS Big Sur, and then the operating system is Big Sur. So that's the only way to bring it back to that way. But he didn't do that. This is a new machine that he just updated to Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.1 and found this out. At first, I was thinking to myself, again, how is that even possible? Then a couple other people started to report this. It wasn't just him. So that's when I said, well, we got to look into this and figure out what's going on. I decided to jump in and test this out to see what was going on for myself. So what I did was DFU restore of 11.6 on the M1 Mac. So recovery OS was on Big Sur and the operating system was on Big Sur 11.6. Then I installed the 11.6.1 update through software update system preferences. And when that was complete, the operating system was updated 11.6.1, then but then I booted to recovery and then look at this, this Mac OS Monterey. So what that means is, is if I click on this button, it's going to download Mac OS Monterey directly from Apple software update servers. And again, if you wanna stay on Big Sur, this is not something that you wanna see because you want to just be able to reinstall Mac OS Big Sur to troubleshoot or erase and keep Big Sur. If you wanted to move to Monterey, you would be able to update from system preferences when you're back in the operating system. So this is a very strange situation. So I did some additional testing. I said, well, wait a minute. So I downloaded the full installer and used the full installer to upgrade from 11.6 to 11.6.1. Same thing. Mac OS recovery was Monterey. Now what this is starting to show is, is that at the time of the software update or the full installer, it is downloading the required pieces of Mac OS recovery that it needs on the fly. Instead of it having it, you know, basically built in a static installer for the full installer or the Mac OS Delta update. And that's what it looks like it's doing. And the third test is, is that I used the Mac OS Big Sur 11.6.2 beta update that kid just came out today because I figured well wait a minute is this a problem with just 11.6.1 well no 11.6.2 beta does the same thing the recovery OS is Monterey so on this M1 13 inch MacBook Pro you can see that I'm running 11.6.2 release candidate that was released today 
So if we boot back into recovery, we should be on Mac OS Big Sur Recovery OS 2, but I'll show you what that looks like once we get into recovery. Okay, we're here at the M1 recovery screen. Now we can click on options to boot right into recovery. And as you can see, we are on Mac OS Monterey Recovery. So if we go into terminal, we can see which version of Mac OS Monterey this machine is actually running. So we can do SW underscore vers, and we can see it is running 12.0.121A559, which is the initial release of Mac OS Monterey. So now that we know that, how in the heck can we get Mac OS Big Sur installed back on this system. And the key here will be creating a Mac OS Big Sur full installer USB. And I'll include a link in the description and above this video on a video to show you how to do that, how to download Mac OS Big Sur and then create the USB. And once we do that, we'll plug it into this M1 Mac and then we'll use the recovery boot picker to boot to it. So right now we'll shut down. Okay, now we're at the boot picker and you can see that this USB installer that I have plugged in has multiple different versions of Mac OS Monterey Beta and 11.6.1 Big Sur full installer. So let's click on that now and we'll be able to boot right to recovery. Now remember, this is not like Intel Macs. Intel Macs, you would click on this and it would actually boot to the full installer off the USB. With M1, we're booting to internal recovery first and then running the install Mac OS Big Sur application inside recovery. Okay, we're in Mac OS recovery. All we need to do is hit continue and we're brought to the initial installer. But what we're gonna do is we can hit disagree and hit this screen here and then go back by quitting out of the install Mac OS Big Sur application. And this is how we were gonna be able to see the main menu. As you can see, Mac OS Big Sur, we can go into disk utility, click on continue. And if you wanted to erase the disk for a fresh install, all you needed to do is wait for the it to load. Click on Macintosh hard drive, click erase, and then click erase. Once you do that, you can close out of disk utility and then just click in install Mac OS Big Sur. And there you go, that's how you can reinstall Mac OS Big Sur even though your recovery OS is on Mac OS Monterey. How can, you might be asking yourself, how can we be in this situation? Well, I've come up with three different theories here. The first one is that this is a bug or a mistake on Apple's part. And this is unexpected behavior that we've never seen before and it was a mistake or a bug that was not intended to be this way. The second possibility is that maybe there's a technical reason behind the change. That seems a little farther out there, but it was something that I wanted to put down because again, I don't know for sure. And the third reason is that maybe Apple just wants more people to be able to update to Mac OS Monterey and they're forcing people to do it by upgrading the recovery system to Monterey. Again, I don't know. So what I did was is I submitted a ticket to Apple Enterprise Support so we can get some more information behind the change here. Was it a bug or was it intentional? And this is something that we're going to expect from here on out. In conclusion, again, I'm not sure why Apple did this or what's going on in this situation. But again, like I said earlier in the video, I send a Enterprise Support ticket to Apple so we can get some clarification in this situation. When I do get a response, I'm gonna update this article here and I'll put an update on my my Twitter and in the description of this video uh, once we know what the situation is here. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or a share. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, click on that subscribe button. If you want to see more Mac OS Monterey videos, you can click on the playlist in this window. You can also visit my blog at MrMacintosh.com or my Twitter at Classic2 underscore Mr. Mac. And if you wanted to support the channel, you can join my Patreon. I wanted to thank the following patron supporters, the Swift Goose YouTube. YouTube, the Apple Ninja YouTube, Kato, Fred, Gordon, Harold, and Enrico. Thank you very much, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.